Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your uh, weekly reading for Pisces. How are you guys? Pisces, let's see what's going on with you. This can be any aspect of your life. I've been kind of trying to focus on relationships in general. Pisces. Deep Diver diving into the task so this could be something emotional taking a deep dive going within okay it could also be just diving into a task just going for it yeah repairing of the veil so this energy of forgiveness yeah be forgiving yourself forgiving another person it's repairing the veil i love that card it's so beautiful and then i see the many masks and i see the perfect storm Ooh. Something's about to happen. The perfect storm. Something about the right time. Okay. Uh, the courage to step into life. So it's about taking off the mask, being your authentic self. This may not be yourself. It could be a person or a situation you're dealing with. You see? Repairing the veil. And then we have the mask. It couldn't get any clearer. It's about being authentic, being yourself. Okay. Now, like I say, the perfect storm. I do see the crow. Okay, or a raven. That's a, often um, an energy of somebody here who's, it's energy of wisdom. It's also an energy of someone who, like I say, may have been hiding behind a mask. Okay, whether it's yourself or not. It could be, like I say, another person, but it is about having the courage. Uh, so it's, I feel it has something to do with timing. The perfect storm. It's like something happened here emotional and it was meant to be and it could have been something to do with someone having the courage to show their true self okay so someone's taking a deep dive king of wands pisces aries leo sagittarius scorpio or just a person who's very passionate okay very creative hard working generally a hands-on person okay now this is also a person who generally knows what they want and they go after it We have the King of Cups. Someone's taking a deep dive into their emotions here. Mm. This could be a choice between two, but it really looks like someone's taking a dive into their emotions here. Somebody here who really wants love, you see. But I also feel it has to do with a person who's, like I say, very passionate, very theatrical, very uh, definitely a person with a lot of pride. Okay, so it has to do with many masks. Hmm. Somebody has, there's two sides to somebody here. Could be a choice between two situations or you have these are the people you're dealing with. We'll see. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. It almost looks like a Scorpio energy, quite possibly. It certainly doesn't have to be. Yeah. So there's a choice either between two or there's this path. This is about choosing the path, choosing the right person, but it also has to do with uh, somebody else's path. Okay, so you're diving into tasks, something deeply emotional. Yeah, so someone's feeling lack and loneliness. Maybe they don't have enough money. It's often an energy of somebody who just feels like they're not good enough. Or it's an energy of someone who's lonely, feeling left out in the cold. Someone's lacking. There's lack in someone's life. See, somebody here, the many masks. Somebody here, you know, energy of forgiveness here. Repairing the veil, the courage. Somebody is about to find some kind of courage. <laughs> mm, see, we have something new. Everything being exposed and out in the open. Yeah, so there's definitely this lack being exposed. But I feel this is an energy of uh, just leaving it behind. See, going down a whole new path. So some of you, like I say, maybe you have a choice. Okay, It looks like a relationship energy. But it has to do with... Uh, the path that someone's on, you see, it has to do with somebody being authentic, expressing themselves, exposing their feelings, emotions. So something is becoming clear. It's being illuminated here. Pisces, some Leo energy here, definitely, especially when I see the courage and the, the, the lion here. And this is someone very passionate, generally a person who just goes after what they want. So it looks like someone who's at a crossroads in their life. They're diving into their feelings. 
You see, someone who's lonely, you know, there's lack in their life. See, it's all becoming exposed. So maybe an Aries for some of you. Okay, it has to do with taking a leap of faith, leaving something behind and going down a whole other path. Um, maybe someone here feels like a little bit of a fool for hiding their true self, not being authentic. It's also an energy of being true to you, okay? So, but there's definitely something to do with forgive, forgiveness. Let's see where this goes. Tell me about this King of Wands. Yeah, so we have an energy of someone here waiting. Maybe this is what you're waiting for, okay, yourself. But it has to do with this person feeling like the ship has sailed. It may be too late. They're at that time in their life, you see. So someone here definitely, like I feel, this is the path. They chose some kind of path here. But now it's I feel it's a person forgiving themselves, okay, more than likely. But it has to do with someone who's feeling a little bit like a fool. Someone had an opportunity by the looks of it and they were afraid to take a risk. But this is a person who's now thinking about taking this risk, taking things to the next level or just going down a whole new path. And it could even be yourself, Pisces, King of Cups energy. But someone here feels like it's too late. The ship has sailed, you see? Because of the path that they chose. Yeah. Aw. It's tough sometimes, but here's that seven of panic or yeah, seven of pentacles. So it has to do with waiting patiently for someone to invest. See, it has to do with the timing, the courage to step into life. That's why I say I felt there's something to do with the timing. It has to do with the time is right. The time is perfect to take a risk. See? This is someone who's definitely getting all into their feelings here. Tell me about the King of Cups. It has to do with timing investing. You see? Someone waiting for the right opportunity. Yeah, so we have some kind of truth, an aha moment. See, there's that light bulb, you know, some kind of realization to do with truth. Something deep. Oof. Someone seeing the truth here. Yeah, we have, you know, some of you got a choice between two. Like I say, you could be, you have, you may have something new. There may be lack and loneliness. You, know, you may be, it could even be yourself taking a leap of faith and forgiving someone, just leaving it in the past or forgiving yourself for taking a risk. Okay, being left without, you know, lonely, left out in the cold. It's an, often it's a self-fulfilling prophecy. It's sometimes a person who's you know, having a pity party, feeling sorry for themselves. But I do feel with that truth that someone's having that little moment here. It's the truth about a connection. There's some kind of connection between two, okay, and the path. If you have a choice between two, like I say, you may have a, a new opportunity, something new. You may decide to leave all this in the past. It certainly looks like it. It's a little bit of a perfect storm here. I can't wait to get to that card. I love that card. Deep Diver. Diving into the task. See, there's definitely been this energy of lack of reciprocity. You see, there's something lacking, something, you know, someone doesn't have enough money or they, um, you know, feel like they're not good enough. It often looks like emotional insecurity, but there's definitely a single person here, somebody who's single, enjoying the fruits of their labor. Someone may reach out and ask you if you're single. There's a connection. I, I mean, it could be someone leaving something else behind. They're ready for new. You see, something's being exposed within. That's the light being shone within. You see? I love this because I feel like it's someone going to reach out. They maybe want to know if you're single. Okay. So some of you might have a couple people reaching out. <laughs> Crossroads choices for some of you. Tell me about the five of pentacles. Yeah. See, being cautious, being careful what you wish for. So it's an energy of someone being cautious, playing it safe. That's often the king of cups. Very careful what they wish for, how much they share, how much they express and expose. But what has to be exposed is someone's true self. They need to take off the mask. This is often a person who comes on very strong, very confident, you see. But inside, this person may not be. Okay, they may not be uh, really in that way. They're hiding behind that, um, you know, maybe a little ego here. It's often, like I say, but it's a person I feel who maybe you're waiting for this person. Okay, waiting. Maybe you feel like it's too little too late. Maybe while you're waiting, you have another opportunity. You may decide to go off on a new path. So, yeah, well, it's always got to be complicated. Yeah, see, there's energy of someone who's been stuck, stubborn. 
you know, refusing to budge. See, someone's kept something to themselves. They're holding on to something. Now, this is also a card of balance, okay? It's also an energy of someone protecting themselves. They're cautious. They're careful. Now, we also know, again, it's very much connected to the King of Cups, somebody who keeps things close to their chest. They don't share a lot about themselves. Um, you see, but they're, they're it's just someone diving into their feelings and emotions. I feel like someone's going to reach out. Okay. I actually feel like you may reciprocate if you're single, if you're into it. Absolutely. Because I feel someone's going to reach out and they want to know if you're single. Okay. But like I say, some of you are waiting for someone, waiting patiently, and then you have this other opportunity. Uh, fire sign energy so there it is manifesting having all the tools you need to manifest little mirroring energy you see so this could be two people who are kind of similar yet i can see they're different for some of you it's just the same person okay i can feel the energy of just this being one person you know, taking off the mask you know their emotions digging into their feelings and emotions someone's catching some feelings here it has to do with the truth success yeah, see the crossroads. There it is again, making a choice, choosing a, uh, the path in life. Tell me about repairing the veil. Yeah, we've got a little bit of mirroring here. So like I say, this could be yourself, another person, or, or some of you have a choice, or they do. But this is someone who has all the tools. They have everything they need to know. Okay, so it's about manifesting this life path, going down this other path. Repairing the veil, forgiveness. Yeah, see, this is energy of someone here, incoming communication. So there's some kind of communication. Now we have a person who moves very quickly to come on very strong. See, what I feel is what you got a person who's actually not as confident as they as they act. Okay, it's written all over this. Um, mm -hmm. But I feel someone here feels like a fool. They feel foolish, but it has to do with, see, someone, it's an energy of taking a risk. See, someone that feels like a fool for not going down this path, taking a risk. Now, it could be a person wanting to approach you, but I feel someone's holding on. See, they keep things close to their chest. They're keeping themselves stuck. Someone's keeping themselves stuck, and they could be a little stubborn. Maybe they're being a little selfish. You know, they... They only have so much. They offer only so much. But it's also an energy for yourself to stay balanced, okay? Um, to uh, be careful how much you give. Uh, being careful what you wish for. little caution here. But I feel like you're going to get something you want. Because I feel like some of you definitely, while you're waiting, uh, you're still manifesting, you see? Yeah, you're still kind of open to other options, other opportunities. And it looks like some of you are getting one. And it's definitely someone who comes in quickly. Very, a lot of pride. There's someone who moves fast. They like to talk a lot. They communicate. So it has to do with taking something to the next level. But is this person being their authentic self? So it has to do with being fair and balanced. Is this person right for you? I, you know, I do see some Libra, some Gemini. And that something is being exposed. See, starting something new, manifesting something new. Now, this could be, like I say, somebody who's coming in to express themselves, to take that leap of faith, to approach you and to go down this path. And it could be to do with committing. Okay, It has to do with someone being authentic, their authentic self. Someone isn't being. That's what I feel for most of you. Most of you, honestly, I feel like this is the same person. Perfect storm. Yeah, see, someone's definitely in their feelings. The perfect storm has to do with the timing. Someone's about to step into life. They're mastering life. They're you know, going within themselves. So it has to do with someone forgiving themselves, another person. Okay, most definitely. Tell me about this nine of pentacles now. That this energy's here. Yeah, see, it has to do with someone being confident about choosing the wand. See, it's a person who's focused on the wand. This often is a person who comes in really fast and fiery. They act really confident. You see, you can see this, something sudden, very sudden, very quickly. It has to do with committing. Now, if you have a person who suddenly uh, wants to commit, 
make sure they are being their authentic self. But I actually feel that's what this person's doing. They're, they're, they're deep into their emotions, their feelings. And it has to do with them being uh, courageous, being confident about what it is they want and the path that they're now on. So I don't know who you're dealing with here, but there it is right there. See, being confident about the one, about what they're passionate about, being strong. Um, it's also an energy of forgiveness because um, we know the strength is uh, uh, looking on the past with kindness, compassion, and being confident enough to do so. This is someone who knows what they want now. See, so if you had a person who came on really strong, they wanted to take things to the ne next level too quickly, like I feel, maybe they didn't come in right. So whoever they are, they're coming in right. So, but if you have a choice between two, yeah, it's about choosing the one, being confident about choosing the right person, making sure that they are confident, they know what they want. It's also yourself, okay, before you take things to the next level. There's something about forgiveness and this fast moving energy. Some of you have multiple opportunities. It could happen very quickly. So like I say, some of you definitely have a choice. Tell me about this choice. Others of you, it really is just this person, see? There you are, Pisces. This could be yourself. Some of you may have a little Aries in your chart. So this has to do with being wise, trusting your inner knowing, okay? It's like you just know this is the one, see? Maybe you have a choice between two. This person could be someone with Pisces in their chart, or like I say, it could be just the energy. They're diving into their feelings, but it's about diving into the task, doing things right, being fair. See, this has to do with some kind of a commitment. Tell me about justice. Yeah, see, some of you are walking away from someone who's not right for you. See, but there's someone who's looking. Someone's looking for love here. I can see it. They've walked away from someone who isn't right. So they, this is someone who's found the courage to walk away. But it's about forgiving. But that wand is connected to the king of wands, the one. The, they're very passionate, very sexy, very charming. Oh, yeah, they're the package, right? <laughs> but for most of you, it's a person who comes on very fast and very strong. You see, it's a person who needed to get in touch with their emotions because this is that walking away from someone who's not right, a situation that's not right and finding the confidence to do so, to choose the right person. So whether it's yourself or this other person, but there's, there's some love here, most definitely. Now, tell me more about the magician, the mirroring. Yeah, see, we got the king and queen of cups. You're mirroring each other. You're manifesting each other here. So this is crazy. But, you know, this is where I say trusting your intuition about taking a leap of faith, whether it feels right, whether you feel comfortable. Are they right for you? So it's about looking before you leap as well, playing it safe. Like I say, it's saying to be a little cautious. Yeah. One of you may be more cautious than the other, too. But I feel like you got a person who needs to show their authentic self, their loving, nurturing, caring side, the perfect storm, the timing, you see? Yeah, whatever you're waiting for, <laughs> yeah, it's coming. But definitely some of you, like I say, some of you definitely, while you're waiting for someone, maybe you're diving into your feelings. Maybe you're, you know, coming to that realization this person may not be right for you. So you have some sort of a choice to make. Soulmate connection, best friends, two people who see eye to eye. Let's look at this two of cups. Yeah, see, there's some kind of movement. So it's like you're uh, moving away from something. Some of you definitely are moving away from a person or a situation. Because it has to do with the one, choosing the right person and being confident. See, someone now feels confident. But it also has to do with you. So there's the mirroring energy. This is two people showing their true selves, their innermost selves. But it's about taking a leap of faith and trusting your intuition. So it looks like something feels right. Now it could be someone you know. I don't see it coming back around. Some of you actually, I see that, been there, done that. Um, but there's definitely a need to heal, okay? So definitely fast. The storm, the perfect storm, the perfect time. See, something to do with the timing is going to happen. <laughs> The timing is right. Oh, yeah. See, we have there. We have it. The Queen of Pentacles. See, there's someone here you may not see a future with. You may not be comfortable with them. 
okay, whatever it is. Uh, but I definitely see you being grounded, practical, and sensible. Playing it safe. Queen of Pentacles plays it safe. And it's where you sit and go, do you see yourself with this person? Uh, did they come in right? Are they right for you? Is this fair? You know, now, someone sees you as marriage material. And this is, a, I mean, you're, you're mirroring each other. You're manifesting each other here. So, yeah, I mean, I, I can definitely see some crazy energy. And if you are choosing, you're definitely moving away from um, somebody here who's in that King of Wands energy more than likely. Because it's like you're waiting for this person, okay? Waiting for them. You're patiently waiting for them to invest emotionally. But while you're waiting, here comes this new opportunity, this new person. Something that feels right. You see, there it is. <laughs> King of Wands again, so Leo. It could be, like I say, some of you, this is the same person just going through these energies about being confident about whether you're the right person for them as well. It's about choosing the one. This person's holding on to that wand. And now it could be someone who comes in fast and fiery and passionate. They want to take it to the next level too quickly. Maybe you're not comfortable with it. Okay, because it has to do with being comfortable and being sensible. Someone definitely sees you as marriage material. Yeah. Weighing the pros and the cons. There it is. See? Weighing the pros and the cons. Should I or shouldn't I? See, that's good, though, because you're being practical. You're Should you or shouldn't you take a risk with this person? If it is a person, like I say, you got looks like multiple opportunities, things speeding up. There's something that needs to be forgiven. Okay? It has to do with the authentic self. And I actually feel it. it's not just yourself, it's this other person as well. So that's why I feel some of you, it's just one person. But it's like, should I or shouldn't I? You know, does something feel off? Does this feel right? This is what the Queen of Pentacles does. Yeah, no, there's something off with someone here. Someone's not telling you something. They're keeping something to themselves. Now, it could be insecurities or maybe they don't have a lot of money. Somebody here's got a bit of an ego. This is someone with a sense of pride. So somebody's pride may have gotten in the way here. Okay, so that's where I feel. That's where I feel it's one person. Someone kept something to themselves. See, a secret. This energy of lack, loneliness, feeling left out in the cold. They don't have enough money, you know. So be sensible, because I feel like it's about protecting yourself, everything you've worked for, your money. So there's that protecting, being cautious. Tell me about this Prince of Swords. Yeah, see, there's that fool, the leap of faith. Someone feels like a fool. So some of you, there's Aries. Some of you, it's a Leo energy. But I feel, and maybe even Scorpio for a lot of you. So it has to do with leaving this stuck energy behind and taking a risk, a leap of faith. It takes two. So I actually feel, honestly, I feel like some of you definitely do have two people and multiple opportunities. So it has to do with forgiving yourself or forgiving someone because that's also, sometimes it takes a lot of strength is to forgive somebody. Okay. So there you go. Now you've got the King of Swords. So there's definitely a couple of people, two or three. What I'm seeing is a person who's mastering they're mastering life, but they're also uh, mastering uh, all the energy of the kings. So that's why some of you, it's definitely an energy of one. It feels, to me, for the strongest, it feels like just one person. But yet, <laughs> we have the fool twice. What is this? This has to do with someone's being authentic, being their authentic self, being confident about making a choice to start something. See, while you're waiting, you've got a person who's going through all this energy and then you may have this other opportunity. Yeah, see, it has to do with sacrificing, possibly self-sabotage. Someone doesn't want to sacrifice. They don't want to give. But it's often self-sabotage. So definitely there's someone who needs to forgive themselves. It's not so much two people forgiving each other as someone forgiving themselves. Yeah, see, there's three people here releasing see releasing things that no longer serve sometimes it's friends family you know it's definitely an energy of having faith see someone feels there's someone with insecurities they feel like you're out of their league or the situation's out of reach but it's a person who's got some kind of baggage or holding on to this lack um, 
I, I feel like it's a person who worries about their money, that they don't have enough, okay? Somebody who comes in with lack, they act like they uh, don't have any money when they do, or vice versa, okay? So really watch that someone's being their authentic self. Somebody is, because they. this is someone who's got the courage to step into life. They're manifesting. They're going to be their authentic self. Yeah, see emotional fulfillment, happiness, the future. See, there's someone here you do not see a future with. A lot of you, others of you do. But this has to do with this person figuring out what makes them happy, what fulfills them emotionally. So if, with the King of Swords is someone who's definitely logical. But I feel this is someone who's trying to be confident. So I, if there is someone you walked away from it and maybe they ghosted you, ignored you, it's because they don't feel confident. Okay. Definitely, there's a lot of worry about money, the future, but you know, more than likely with this energy, it's someone who keeps themselves stuck. Stubborn, you know, but it's like with the King of Cups, it's a person who holds things close to their chest till they're ready to explode. There's that stepping into life, the perfect storm. Oh, yeah, someone's bursting with emotion. Yeah, see, there we have, see, somebody either coming in to apologize. Somebody was not their authentic self. So it's a, there's often a person who just tells you what you want to hear. So be careful you're not being um, manipulated by someone. Because if you took a risk with this person before and you took a risk, you to decide to take a risk again, you see, I would, be, I would be a little cautious. Is someone keeping secrets or keeping something to themselves? Yeah, I feel this, I'll tell you, one of the, the secrets with someone is, is there's a lot of feelings and emotions. And secretly, they may not have a lot of money or they do and they act like they don't. So you really got to watch that. Um, but the mirroring is what's so interesting here with the King and Queen of Cups. Two people who want the same thing. Two people who want love. Two people who probably have everything they need but love more often than not. It's an energy of being lonely. See, a cycle is ending. See, something is ending so something new can begin. So this is a whole new cycle. Something didn't go in someone's favor. They didn't get what they wanted because they came in with luck. They came in with insecurities. And that's why I feel most of you, it's a, you know, someone's pride got in the way. Yeah, things are about to flip in your favor here, but do make sure. This is somebody who's trying to get things to go in their favor, so they kind of sometimes manipulate. They come in with lack. Maybe they're concerned you're holding on to them for money. Uh, but I feel here with that Queen of Pentacles, you are stable, okay? You're stable financially. You're calm. You're gracious, I feel. Definitely, it takes a lot of strength to be gracious and forgive somebody as well. So, but yeah crazy but yeah if you do there is an energy of walking away from someone who isn't being their authentic self okay so definitely but you still have that king of cups see partnering up see someone's looking for a partner they're stable financially uh, i feel someone kept a secret they kept something from you with a high priestess this is, maybe you already knew that maybe your intuition is telling you already knew okay <laughs> I, I feel like you're just grounded and sensible about any decision you make. Um, you're protecting yourself, okay? Yeah, I don't think you're going to really budge too much with this person because it has to do with them coming in right, being fair. You see, somebody here, maybe they weren't fair. Maybe they weren't fair to you. Maybe they judged you. Because I do feel that you've, you're, you've got someone coming in to apologize. But if you have someone who makes up a lot of excuses, okay, it's, it's not you. It's because of their own insecurities, their pride, you see. Tell me about this King of Cups. Yeah, they want to offer you the cup. Oh, yeah. So someone definitely wants to offer you this cup here. So some of you, it's a new opportunity. It looks like definitely some of you are going to take this cup. You're going to go for it. It feels right. See, something feels right. Something doesn't if there's two. Um, but for some of you, it is an energy of forgiving somebody for not being their true self or hiding their feelings, emotions, keeping their secrets. 
Okay, the energy of luck, feel like you're out of their league, the situation's out of reach. But everything is going to be illuminated here because this person's going um, deep within. So tell me more about the Five of Pentacles. Yeah, see, someone, the burden is lifting. If someone needs to get something off their chest, I feel like you're going to get an apology. But it has to do with baggage, someone releasing baggage. See, the sun is shining right next to the sun. It's all going to be exposed. So something is bothering someone or burdening them. So like I say, it could be baggage from another situation, relationship, marriage. But wow, you've got this opportunity. So it's an energy of someone looking for the same thing as you are with the mirroring. But others of you, definitely you're leaving someone behind who is not being their authentic self. See, now you've got the king of pentacles. We have a power couple right here. It's someone finding the courage to offer you this cup, to tell you how they feel. Okay, maybe they have to just, there needs to be a conversation with that magician, okay, about their feelings. Maybe they just want to get it off their chest. Maybe they have a lot of bills, responsibility, finances. Maybe they don't have a lot of money, but it's definitely somebody who, some burdens are lifted, whether they're, it looks financial, um, I feel. Maybe someone has a lot of debt. Maybe they're protecting you because, like I say, you commit and marry someone and they have a lot of debt. You take that debt on. So, yeah, there's definitely something interesting here. Wow. But this is definitely a person who, I mean, this is someone who's grounded and sensible. They like to plan ahead. They like to plan for the future. Uh, but if this is someone who is not being their authentic self, some of you definitely have a choice. Okay. And it's definitely a lot of that back and forth, which... Like I say, it does look it sound confusing, but when you see the duplicate cards here with everything being exposed, this new beginning, this is about someone expressing themselves suddenly. Someone is, it's like it's, they're just going to burst in and say it, okay? They want this opportunity. Now, it could be a fresh new start. You may have had something on and off with someone. But yeah, some of you definitely, while you're waiting, you may meet another person. It could very well be you needing to, you know, Make a choice. Be yourself. Always just be yourself. Take off the mask. Someone needs to take off the mask. This is often the mask where someone offers only one cup and nothing more because they're hiding something. Insecurities, lack of money, or they're just somebody like a self-fulfilling prophecy. It's like they start it. Maybe it just didn't start right. I don't know. But there's the energy of uh, some cancer. Somebody here taking control of a situation. See, it's about moving towards something more successful. It's a person who's trying not to be ruled by their emotions. But I'm going to tell you, their emotions are now ruling them. <laughs> you see? That's why I feel most of you. It's just the person. They're mastering life. Okay? Because we've got all four kings here now. They're learning the lessons of all the kings. Ooh, crazy. So there's that offer. Yeah, see, could be a reconciliation. But always remember, yeah, someone may have judged you wrong or judged a situation. Maybe it's yourself. But this is, in the end, it's your decision. Okay, so it's telling you. To, to look at it with the Queen of Pentacles there, to ground yourself and look, do you see yourself married to this person? Okay, it's about you being your authentic self as well, like I say. So crazy. Yeah. Um, Reconciliation or a decision, a judgment being made. It's also an energy of healing. So there's a lot of forgiveness here. Repairing the veil, the mask. There. Looking back, someone feels pretty beat up here. King and Queen of Pentacles looking back at all this hard work. This person's not generally not a quitter. See, that's connected to this person. They don't really want to give up, but it's someone who sort of feels like giving up. So maybe when you met this person, they've really kind of had already kind of given up on finding somebody. We have the Empress, see, being open, the birth of something new. That's the forgiveness, the healing. So it's about being open uh, to receive, to forgive. And vice versa energy here. Yeah, see, Queen of Swords being very wise, trusting your inner knowing. 
I feel like you already knew some of this. I feel like your intuition's telling you you knew this energy already. Okay, but I feel like you're going to be very discerning. Very that I do see this energy of being kind and compassionate. Watch your words. Uh, some little Aquarius energy here, or Libra for some of you with the Empress. Yeah, Gemini for some. So yeah, this is making a choice in love, choosing, being your true self, being wise, trusting your inner knowing. If you feel like something isn't right, okay, someone's coming in with luck, then choose wisely. Your decision, okay? It's up to you to judge this, judge this for yourself. Don't worry about friends or family. It's about you, okay? You choosing. Um, this is about loving yourself first, releasing, okay? So this is also your self-healing, loving yourself first, knowing your worth and value, letting go. There's something you both probably need to let go of, whether it's something from a past relationship, um, whatever it is, okay? But it, I do see love coming in. I do see uh, success. You're definitely the one with the power, you have the power to choose for yourself. You may choose to forgive. You may choose not to. But, you know, forgiveness is always the best way to let go of baggage. If you can forgive somebody or someone in the past, okay, then you're not taking that baggage with you into the future. And that's what I feel like it's trying to say. Crazy. Oh, these readings lately. I'm telling you. <laughs> but, yeah, I, I mean, I definitely see a head over heart decision. I feel there's someone here who, like I say, they've kept something to themselves, their feelings, they're cautious. But I feel this is yourself having to be cautious, needing to do what's right for you. And I feel like you will. Okay? And it's about judging this situation properly. But it, I definitely see some of you reconciling. Others of you, I can definitely see not. Because there could be someone new. Mm -hmm. So it's about healing before you start something new. Maybe someone didn't heal before they started something new. They came in with lack, feeling like, you know, it wouldn't be successful. It wouldn't go anywhere, you know. So there's choices in love. I feel it's energy of um, forgiveness. Yeah. All right. Pisces, I wish you the best on this journey, but there's some things are about to get moving here. So the Queen of Pentacles is here to tell you to prepare, okay, to ground yourself and be prepared. Uh, someone may want a reconciliation, but also prepare yourself to make the decision that uh, you don't want to reconcile. You may want to choose someone new and being open to new with the Empress, see, being open to receive. The fool's here twice, so like I say, it, it very well could be yourself here. You've taken risks before. Fool me once, fool me twice, it's here twice. Okay, take care, bye for now.